Hi, I'm Al Sunderland. I'm senior lecturer here at the University of Bedfordshire for the Paramedic Science Programme. Uh, here at Bedfordshire, we have lots of opportunities for students from all walks of life with all different experiences and with different qualifications. Whether you've done a degree before, whether you are a mature student looking for a change, or you just left uh, left college or sixth form and you, you know exactly what, what it is that you want to do. Uh, we have this widening participating agenda, so we are uh, we accept lots of different people from all walks of life. There, there are no no, no options that aren't on the table. On the uh, paramedic science course here at Bedfordshire, we have a, a wide range of subjects, uh, all from the uh, not so exciting uh, academic writing side, side of, uh, of your learning, of your studies, but right down to the clinical, whether it's learning the simple skills of taking a pulse or a blood pressure, right through the sciences of learning about how the body works, how diseases work, how we can support people through those um, sort of unplanned emergencies to the ones that are chronic. Uh, we cover all those subjects and right, right through to dealing with those who you often would, would associate with being on, on TV where you see the ambulances rushing into hospital with a sick patient. So from start to finish, meeting patients in their homes all the way to talking to other healthcare professionals to basically keep that patient on the right path so they get the right care at the right time. Uh, you'll learn it all here. When we consider career opportunities, uh, it's, it's easier to say uh, what are our graduates going on, going on to do because we, we can say that you have to do this course or a course from a university for paramedic science to become a registered paramedic, but fr from there, uh, what is your path? Do you want to go into research? Do you want to go into education? Do you want to go into leadership? Do you want to focus on your clinical practice? So there's what we call the, the four pillars of our practice. and is whilst you're with us on the course you can explore each of those avenues to see which you prefer and which ones you perhaps favour towards as, as you're learning the skills but when we look at our graduates who've, got, who've gone on to do different things we've got people who've gone off to do their masters in resilience some are doing it in critical care some are doing it in urgent care some are doing it in research itself so the honestly the scope that you can take your degree forwards with uh, is huge So uh, here at Bedfordshire, we have a range of facilities, uh, some of which come naturally to us because uh, we're predominantly outside workers. So we'll quite happily uh, take a skill session and go and put a mannequin amongst some bushes or around a corner on a pavement in, a, in an alcove to simulate various scenarios. Uh, we could simply have it in one of our livable suites uh, in a kitchenette. Uh, we'll in interact on, on a ward-based system. Uh, we do a range of uh, of training and education through the use of um, low level skills to, to high quality, high fidelity mannequins that can make noises, whether it's breath sounds, uh, swollen, swollen airways, stomach sounds. Uh, we have the same with birthing mannequins so we can teach our students and prepare them for difficult uh, deliveries in the emergency setting versus no normal delivery. So uh, across our different range of equipment, we can recreate and support students. And, and when we look to recreate, we can support experiences from placements. So if a student has had some challenges and they're trying to work through these, then we can sit down with them and understand and, and give them that sort of pastoral support, which we're, we're quite keen on uh, nurturing and pushing forwards because this is a, a difficult profession to move into if you've never experienced uh, the life that uh, is, is a crisis for when people call 999. So we can recreate those and give students the support and talk through and apply it to, to theory and practice and, and help the students make sense of it so that the experiences that they have out on placement with our fantastic staff on the road, um, they are captured and they're embraced so that they can be personal to, to that learning experience. <laughs>